Hey my friend Will here for the FXAce.com for some welcome to the video. So we're well into the first week of December trading month. Um, just going through some of the trades this week that have happened on the DayTrader X system. I've been uh, using the scalping profile a lot this week. And I just want to show you some of the profits we've made this week so far. So we've made four and a half K this week on the account. Four and a half thousand US dollars. And you can check this with the DayTrader X big you can check the the growth on the account. This is the big account and then the small account is here. Okay. Small account is obviously a bit bigger. This started off with a few hundred dollars and um, we've grossed it up to over 200 percent So it is. See the win ratio, 91% win ratio. Similar story on the bigger one, 1989. So both the same systems, just trading in different size accounts. So you see the monthly gains here, nine, nine, and eight. If you got the email the other day, you would be able to uh, basically check this. Uh, there will be a link below in the description area. Okay, so let's head over to the system and see what's been happening so far this week. Okay, now what I tend to do if the four hour and the one hour is uh, red, I tend to go down into the lower time frames and you'll be able to scalp these uh, sell trades on the euro. So the euro has been dropping as expected this week. Talked about this on Monday. Let's see. I would tend just to go with higher time frame trades this on the one hour and the 30 minute if we get any. We've got a divergence error in the one hour going with the daily. That was yeah, last evening. Okay, so nothing much happened in the euro. Just dropping, waiting for it. The line to go back up. Euro JPY again. We talked about this being in the range, and it's come all the way down to 132. Again this week, 132 bottom range. We get the signals there yesterday to go back up. Okay, if you want, what I'm talking about the range, we're in a range between 134 and the 131. 5, 132 area. We have been for quite a while now. You can see, comes up, it goes down. So it comes down to the bottom of the area and it goes back up. Okay. And these are the trades you could have took this week, just going down to the as it went down to the bottom, all the way up here. And there we go, starting on Monday. First signal on Monday in the early and all the way down. So some nice, really nice signals going with the. Uh, the range on the euro or euro JPY, euro CAD. Again, last night the interest rate decision, a bit of a dovish uh, Canadian Bank of BOC, Bank of Canada or Canada, and yeah, a bit of a dovish thing. And seen this yesterday in the euro CAD rallied up, and you can see we actually got a divergence just before that happened. We got the divergence to go back with a higher time frame daily trend. Okay, Euro GDP, again, we're in this range. We'll zoom out to the daily, we're just in the range at the minute. So we've got a daily buy yesterday, and I will buy this signal here. So why? Basically because you can see, every time it comes down here, we get a signal here up, a signal here up, and a signal here up. Okay, also with the diverse, various diversions at the top. So this is a good signal to maybe get 1,200 pips, no, 120 pips, sorry. So it's a good buy. Euro, Aussie, nothing really. Don't really trade that. Euro, Kiwi. There's some pairs I, don't, I tend to stay away from. Uh, British Pound, GSD. Again, we said this week on Monday on the weekly analyst that it'll be coming uh, down, retracing. And it's really just a see, slow of momentum down here. So we could be seeing it get a pop back up to in line with the, the daily trend. We will see. And target this high here at 135.500. It's all really based on any news coming from Bridex, if anything's uh, struck in the next couple of days regarding the really the Northern Ireland uh, border, it's which is causing the hold up, which caused this spike and then drop on Monday or Tuesday, so it did. So we'll see, t keep a close eye on that there. Again, the British pound, Japanese yen, again, good signal there yesterday, going a line with the daily trend on the four hour chart. And it's looking uh, 
going well already. Okay. Down here you would have got in close, closer with going with the higher time frame trend. And that's been a nice, nice signal there. Got 149, 800. Two nice ones there. Why is that a signal? Basically, we we'll, we'll want to go with a higher time frame trend. Okay, the scanner's telling us that there's a strong green on the daily. Okay, so what we want to do is we're looking for buy buy signals, preferably in these bands areas here. Okay, we've got two buy signals here, and a nice nice uh, drop, nice nice rally to the upside. Okay, we also got a four hour signal. The 15 minute signal got us in there early. We actually took some of them trades yesterday on the British Pound, Japanese Yen, oh, British Pound Aussie again, very bullish. Uh, just take buy signals here, you can see a buy signal there, buy signal there. Just going with the uh, higher time frame trend, British Pound Aussie, all week there we've been getting nice uh, buy signals. Okay. Going with the higher time frames. British Pound Swiss Franc, I don't really uh, go near that card again, British Pound card, uh, yesterday. We had that huge move of the interest rate decisions. I know it said the same, but it was a kind of dovish tone from the uh, BOC, Bank of Canada. And see the rally up there off that yesterday within 15 minutes and up over 100, 120 pips, I think. Okay, and you can see we've actually got the divergence here just before that happened to in line with the daily time frame. So bullish, uh, again British Pound Kiwi. It's going with the higher time frames. Nice signal there yesterday. Going with the daily. Very weak bearish green, so we're actually bullish there. And a nice, nice, nice move up off that. It's pretty, pretty, pretty simple uh, system to trade. You can see the Aussie USD yesterday. Going with the the hard all 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 green. So we're just looking to sell this market at the minute. And you can see nice one there yesterday. Nice one here on Tuesday beautiful beautiful signals all week okay these signals are in real time Aussie Japanese yen again very bearish when you look at the short this market and you see all these bearish signals we've been getting all week yeah you actually got one there on Tuesday and it's been dropping pretty heavy uh, since okay so some nice nice signals system is very very powerful as long as you trade with the trend and you can't really go wrong you're just going with the higher time frame trends and again look at the aussie cad before our daily is still red so you, you wouldn't even be buying this market you would have shorted this market here okay this would have got you back in this market here and you see it's been dropping since the signal here so very very uh, powerful guys again usd cad A weak daily red so this very lot of bullish signals here happening four hours bullish one hours bullish and you can see a nice 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 pop up there yesterday usd <coughs> japanese yen again talked about this coming up last week it did come up last week and it's still rallying this week but i like this area here to come back down on sell this to come back down to the bottom of this range so I'm still bearish on the uh, USD JPY just because it's in a re it's range bound so you got really have to usually de define the actual higher time frame that's why I do the, the weekly uh, trade on this video it's just to let you know which currency pairs are actually in a, a, a range on the higher time frames where you be able to uh, Capitalize on that when it gets to the top of the range. Uh, USD Swiss Franc. Going near that. Uh, US Kiwi Japanese Yen again. All bit all bearish. We're only looking to sell this market. You can see some nice sales this week. Yesterday one here. Uh, it's been dropping 50, 60 pips from there. <coughs> see again today we actually got one there. Nice sell signals all week. Just going with the hard time frame trend. All bearish and a nice nice drop to the downside again. Card, uh, Japanese yen. Nice signal there. Started this week. Again yesterday, we actually got a signal. It's going with a hard time frame trends just before that uh, news release. And look at that, boom. 
up here also. So some some nice uh, great moves this week using the FX Ace Day Trader X system. Now the access system, guys, all you have to do is simply.